Google planning a $2.6 billion expansion of New York City offices. This comes as some tech workers say Silicon Valley is over. Joining us now is Sean Steele, Republican committeeman for California. Sean, I love the hat. You look very dapper. Um, listen, are you worried about an exodus from Silicon Valley? Could Silicon Valley get really hurt here? I, I actually welcome it. We've been watching this for 20 years. California mm. is an out-migration state. We've lost 4 million people in 20 years, net-net loss. And now San Francisco is the number one city in America losing population because it's become kind of a South American plantation with a wealthy elite, with a 90% of the dependent people serving the wealthy elite. It's not, it's not middle class at all. There's a war against the middle class. And uh, if you have a U-Haul trailer and you're trying to get out of San Francisco to Vegas, $2,000. Opposite way from Vegas to uh, San Francisco, $100. What's the market telling you right there? Yeah, that's insane. San Francisco's too expensive, and it's not healthy. Right. It's a disease city. You got, you, you got a professor at Berkeley calling it the same kind of level of diseases with hepatitis and other infectious diseases in a third world country like you'd find in India or Kenya. It's remarkable what's going on in San Francisco. And then the mayor, God bless him, he wants to go to jail. He should go to jail for that alone. <laughs> and God forbid that you have any other view than a liberal view because there's no tolerance at all. Well, here's the irony. It's, it's left wing versus left wing, left wing uh, elite versus left wing uh, <laughs> a hardcore anarchist. And now the San Francisco police have buses following the Google buses that take their their techs out of the city to Silicon Valley. But with police protection, because people are shooting at the Google buses. That's not a very friendly oh environment. Gosh. That's incredible. Uh, Sean, as you just mentioned, San Francisco's interim mayor, Mike Farrell, says he's willing to go to jail to ensure the city always remains a sanctuary city, uh, basically the same as the uh, mayor of Oakland. I mean, I feel like these people, these politicians, are encouraging people to break the law and putting their citizens uh, at risk uh, for illegal yeah, aliens who may be criminals. It's actually literally true. They are now gang lookouts for organized crime. The ICE had plans to, you know, ICE, when they do these raids and they're picking up illegals, they're looking for illegals with criminal records, not people that are trying to mainstream and be nice. Right. They're going after bad actors. And they had a thousand targets, but they only got 200 because of the mayor of Oakland. This is a criminal obstruction charge. This is something the U.S. attorney ought to look at. And by the way, we don't have a U.S. attorney that Trump's been able to appoint in San Francisco because of our liberal senators. So it all kind of fits in nicely. But San Francisco is literally a diseased town with diseased politics. And their number one building is one of the greatest architectural catastrophes in the last 10 years, is literally leaning to the side, the so-called Millennium Building for the Millennials. It's a perfect metaphor. Yeah, leaning to the left. I, I have to ask you, Sean, what's it like being a Republican committeeman in California? You are, I would imagine, an endangered species. Uh, you know, that makes me a unique character <laughs> in many respects. But I live in Orange County. Ah. We have islands of, you know, there's still 5 million registered Republicans in California. It's the biggest Republican party in the country. But we have uh, a, a whole new a level of, I, I figure my job on the RNC is to export Republicans to the South, to the Midwest, <laughs> to the Upper Midwest. And we're doing a heck of a good job of that. Well, keep up the good work. It's not an easy task. I know that in California. But, Sean, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time and, and how dapper you look as well. Thank you so much.